Hey guys, it's Coach Ty from BT Football. Today, we'll be working on a driven ball. So our driven ball technique is going to be really similar to our long ball technique, which I'll post a link below. Uh, the difference is we're going to change a little bit on how we're going to hit the ball. So we're going to hit through the middle more than underneath. And um, we're going to make sure that the ball is driving along the ground or even slightly above it so that it gets to your teammate, your player a little bit faster. So before we begin, um, something to keep in mind, it's a controlled technique. You're not smashing it. You're not trying to kill it. It's a controlled, smooth motion through the ball. That way we can get the best um, accuracy and best pace behind it. So let's get into the details. First things first, you want to make sure that your plant foot isn't touching the ball. It's going to be beside it, but not touching. You're going to have some space. So once we get our, our plant foot sorted out a little bit, we are going to make sure that we're working on our contact foot, obviously. So something to think about. When you're planting and making contact, you want to make sure that you're hitting it with a certain part of your foot. So it'll be not necessarily the very top of your foot, but also right over. So that big bone that starts up here and goes down a little bit, you can use that part of your foot to slice through the middle of the ball. So as you make contact, it's following through the ball like that and stepping over. As I just mentioned the follow through. So on our long ball, we worked on hitting and following through. It's gonna be a similar technique with our driven ball. And uh, we're gonna step through and land like that. So something else to think about is our body positioning. It's huge. I know it's you're only using your legs to go through, but upper body positioning and using your core is really important in hitting this technique. So here are a couple things that you don't necessarily want to do. You don't want your shoulders coming in like this when you're hitting the ball, so you're not like hunching. So when you're making contact, it's not a hunch. You want to be strong in your upper body and have a strong core. That way, it's not influencing too much of you coming through the wrong way and pulling the ball either to the inside or to the outside. Another thing to think about is not like clamping. So when you hit the ball, it's what I call clamping. When you hit the ball, your butt isn't sticking out. You don't want your butt sticking out when you're hitting this ball. You lose so much of that muscle um, hitting through the ball, and a lot of your technique goes away. So, uh, no hunching, no clamming, and then also don't lean too far back, because what ends up happening is either you miss hit the ball, or you just un get under it, and it starts flying. So, once you've gotten the technique down and you're comfortable, um, here are a couple drills to help with the realism in a game. So here's a super simple drill. I have a start point here, I put cones to mark it. Um, we're gonna take a touch out, and then ahead of me, I have two sets of cones, one on either side of the frame. And so your goal is to try to hit a certain spot and test your accuracy. You don't have to have a frame or a goal, you could use a spot on the wall, you could use a fence, but you just want a, a target to aim at, basically. So simply, touch out, have a look up, and then find it. So touch out, have a look up, nice and smooth, hit that ball. Um, for this one, we're going to add a little bit more realism. So now we're coming at an angle. We're going to add a skill, set our feet quickly, and then play the dribble ball. So I'm going to dribble from this cone to the next. Scissor, croquetta for the skill. Set my feet, and a dribble ball. 